Hey there, this is Santi. Today we're going to be talking about what is Obsidian. Maybe a friend of yours recommended it to you. Maybe you found it online and you want to see if this is a note-taking tool that you want to use. So we're going to be looking at the big picture idea of what makes Obsidian great and if it's the right fit for you. And if you want to know a good learning resource, I'm going to give you one advice suggestion. I believe it's, yeah, it's my own Obsidian online course. <laughs> Such a bad joke, but either way, I do have an Obsidian online course where you can learn and hopefully save yourself some of the struggle of learning Obsidian to make it a bit more of a frictionless process and less frustrating, particularly if you don't consider yourself that tech savvy, it's really going to help you. So yeah, that's what I made it. But with that said, we're going to be looking at Obsidian. So right now, you know, you can use it in light mode. This is what it looks like in light mode. And you have like some files on the side. You can have some added plugins in here. You can have some tags and so on. But if you're like me, you might prefer the dark mode. And if you're more like me, you might like to customize it with community themes such as this one right here, which is one that I created. But with that said, I'm actually going to use Obsidian with a community plugin called MindMap that is going to allow you to use mind maps out of bullet points. Super cool. So let me zoom into that right now. And we're going to be using it to cover some of these points. So what is Obsidian? We got, you know, in the strengths, this is one of the main things that I always emphasize on. And this is a place to own your notes. Now, the way Obsidian works is that every time you create a new note, it creates a plain text file. Now, without getting too technical, this is just a very lightweight file that goes in your computer and Obsidian just reads that. And these are files that are really, really compatible. They are files that have been used since the beginning of computer times and they're gonna be you know, they're going to be compatible in 50 years. So it really is the best way to future proof your system. And I believe that is completely amazing. And also because these files are in your computer, you're responsible for them, meaning that you're not putting all your valuable information in some company's hands, but rather you're responsible for it, which I think is amazing. And I think it's such a huge benefit. Then apart from that, Obsidian is a tool for thought, for idea organization and content writing space. So in general, it can become this system where you can use it for whatever you need it to. Maybe you are a professional and you want to develop your skills in your industry and you want to generate ideas for things that you're working on. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're a student, you're a creative person and you want to make sure that you have a place where you can have all these things in just one place. You can search it, you can organize it and you just know where to go when you need to access a certain thought, which I think is a huge benefit. So now let's go to the pros, right? So one of the biggest pros is that Obsidian is free to use. Now Obsidian as, you know, as the core app, you can use it for free. It does have some added things, which I think is a great business model by the amazing creators of this product, which is ways in which you can sync it with several devices. You can also do this with something free like Dropbox, if you have like the free trial or, you know, any other syncing solution, it still works. But there's a built-in solution in Obsidian. There's also another added benefit where you can make your notes public. But those things are completely optional. The core application is free, which I think is just amazing. Then we also have the aspects of how versatile Obsidian is and how compatible. So like I said before, compatible in the sense that because it uses these files that go in your computer, you can use other applications, or you can even move your whole notes to another application, meaning that you're not trapped in Obsidian. These are your files, these are your ideas, meaning that you can access them in decades and they're yours to keep, which I think is amazing, right? And then it's also very versatile, a very versatile and flexible application where you can create your own system, making things work for you. You can use folders if you're accustomed to that and you like that. You can use tags, which is super flexible, or you can even use this new idea of links or you can create a, you know, a link between a note in here and another one, and you can access both of them from either side. And you can even have like a visual representation of that, which is amazing. You can have all types of systems in Obsidian, which is just super cool. Now, I don't think Obsidian has that many cons, but if there is one, is really the learning curve. Particularly if you don't consider that yourself that tech savvy and you don't, you know, you maybe struggle a little bit with these new concepts and you're a bit confused about how to use them. I think Obsidian, because it's so flexible, because it has this idea of like create your own system, it can feel daunting. So I think that is one of the cons and that is something I'm trying to help with me with my Obsidian course. And that is what I really enjoy doing, like helping you figure these things out, helping you avoid the frustration because I know what it feels like. So with that, let's move to what I use Obsidian for. So I use it for content writing in, you know, this can be really for whatever you do. Like in my case, I make these videos, of course, I make blog posts, I write books and, you know, I'm writing books for the future and I have 
a lot of projects that I really want them to last over decades. And that's really what I use it for. So, you know, you can really adapt it to whatever are your needs, which I think is super cool. Then we also have learning notes. This is something I use Obsidian a lot for. It's just a way in which I can maybe, there's a skill that I'm trying to develop. Maybe it could be graphic design, photography, whatever you're trying to learn, you can really compile all of those notes in one single place, right? In Obsidian, you know where to go, you can organize them. And that way, whenever you learn something, maybe you stop learning it for a couple of months, you want to go back to it, you have your whole track record of what you've learned so far, and that, that way you don't lose things. And finally, one of the biggest things that I use Obsidian for is my long-term node system. So, I mean, maybe you've heard this word, settle casting. If you haven't, it's a, it's a concept where you can have like this system that helps you write and have creative output for the long term. Now, it doesn't have to be that complicated. For me, it really is just a way in which I can have concise notes about the things that I learned, about things that I want to create and, you know, like maybe write content about and just compile all that information, things that I can, again, access in decades. In 30 years, I want to see what was my perspective on a certain topic and I can just compound all that knowledge into creative output, into whatever I needed to do, right? So that's about it. That is practically my, you know, my whole take on Obsidian right now. So if it sounds like a tool that you want to learn and you want to, you know, avoid the frustrations, do check out my course. It's the best way you can support my work. Something I put tons of effort to make your life easier. And yeah, you can do things like this. This is like the graph view that you can do in Obsidian. Whenever a node connects to another node, it creates these links and it can create these amazing graphic views on, you know, how that connection and it feels like a constellation of ideas. It's really, really inspiring to work in this kind of stuff, in this kind of environment that allows you to think freely and, you know, think in a clearer way. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. Let me know if you got any questions and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.